Hey, welcome back to Jazz Time. Jazztime.com is an online store that buys, sells, and trades authentic luxury watches. We make these videos so you can easily choose the best watch for yourself in the comfort of your own home. We offer the lowest prices anywhere online. If you'd like to know the price, simply click on the links in the description below. We greatly appreciate it if you purchase your next watch from us at jazztime.com. Today we'll be talking about this Rolex, the reference number 126284RBR. This one on an Oyster bracelet with a silver dial Pave 6 and 9 Roman numeral dial with a diamond bezel and also white gold. All right, we'll be going over the case, the dial bezel, the crown functions, as well as the movement and this bracelet. I'll be giving my thoughts on those throughout this video. Now, starting off with this case, we have, it's it's an Oyster Datejust, or sorry, a Rolex Datejust 36, meaning that it is a 36 millimeter case from finger to thumb. That is the two to eight o'clock position. Also the 10 to four position, same distance, All right? So that's what gives it the 36 millimeter size and therefore the Datejust 36 name name and so we also have this monoblock middle case with the rolex with the screw down case back and the rolex winding crown to ensure waterproofness water resistance down to 100 meters or 330 feet below sea level all right now sitting on the front of this nicely high polished case every single surface is a white gold bezel and not just that we have diamonds set very regularly and perfectly into the bezel at the same angle that you can see, all right, as I move it through the light box, it it reflects the light nicely and evenly and just nicely and radially, very much matching the sunray patterning of this dial. As you can see, the silver sunray dial with a Roman numeral hour mark set up with the six and nine hours being all diamonds, as you can see very nicely balanced against the Rolex crown at the 12 o'clock with the six o'clock uh, Pave six diamonds with the date aperture hidden under that minute hand, nicely balanced with that nine o'clock, the Pave nine. All right, now taking a look at the dial a little bit more closely, you can also notice that at the very edge of the dial, there is a minute track as is, you know, pretty, pretty standard on the newer Datejust 36 model line. It's very, very useful for setting the time as you can see what I just did. I set it based on the position of that seconds hand. And so you can place the minute hand precisely wherever it needs to go. More on that in a second. Now taking a look at the, uh, the Roman numerals themselves, the ones that are not set in diamonds, those are actually white gold. So are the hands so that the entire dial basically does not tarnish over time. It will still, it will still retain this overall look as you can see. As you can see, the silver sunray gives it a very nice sort of a bright bright backdrop for these Roman numeral hour markers. And certainly in the in just the right amount of light, you can still see that dial very clearly with those hours quite nicely as well. A very nice subtle look to those hours. So you can still read it quite easily at a glance. Now taking a look at the crown functions, just simply unwind the crown at the three o'clock position to wind the watch at the first position. This allows you to fully wind the watch up to 20 to 30 full winds if you're at a dead stop to get to the full power reserve. Pull the crown up to the next position. You can then advance the date forward. All right, so it's about a quarter turn to advance the date by one. So if you find yourself on the 30th of a month, just do it once and you can then go to the first of the next month nicely and easily. And you can see how easy it is to accidentally overshoot, but it's very nice and easy to correct as well. So just do it once, hit it, wait for the hour hand to sweep past midnight and you're good to go back on to the first of the next month. All right, pull the crown out to the final position. Note that the seconds hand does stop, so you can then place the minute hand precisely wherever it needs to go based on the position of that seconds hand, wait for an atomic clock to roll around and press that crown back in to start it back up and screw the crown back tightly against the case to ensure that superior water resistance. Now what makes all of this work? It is the manufacturer caliber uh, 3235 in-house made by Rolex. You can't see it through the case back because you do have that, uh, that added sense of security with that solid steel case back. 
It has a plus or minus two second per day time differential after casing, giving it that superlative chronometer certification as printed on the front of every Rolex dial. It also has the center hour, minute, and seconds hands, instantaneous date with the rapid setting, and the stop seconds for precise time setting, all of which I had just demonstrated. The oscillator on the inside has a paramagnetic blue parachrome hairspring with high performance paraflex shock absorbers. What that means is that you can take a few bumps and get relatively close to circuitry or, you know, just standard potentially magnet magnetized surfaces like metals and such and it'll be keeping track of time just fine no need to worry about the timekeeping abilities of the watch or the movement on the inside just don't throw it into an MRI and you're good the winding also has a bi-directional self-winding perpetual rotor what that means that on the the very center mounted on the inside there's a rotor that uh, rotates or revolves about the center so that when you simply wear this on your wrist, it will keep the power reserve up. It'll just automatically wind the watch. No need to manually wind it. And so when it comes to the power reserve, it's about 70 hours. So that means you can set this down on a Friday evening, pick it back up on a Monday morning, ready to conduct business, and you'll be ready to go. No need to wind the watch at all because just wearing it one day will just basically wind it to the full power reserve. And while I'm zoomed out here, you can see that this is the Oyster bracelet. Three piece links across with the high polish links being down the center, intermediate links with the outer links being a satin brush finish, all oyster steel, which is Rolex's own proprietary blend of steel and other materials to create that very, very high polish, complete with my fingerprints, of course, with the ability to keep it nice and strong, that strength required to keep it lasting for years to come. There's a nice gentle taper down from the lugs down to the oyster folding clasp. Just look, lift it from the top to open it. You have the Rolex stamped logo on the inside. You know that you're dealing with steel. And on the outside, you have the Rolex crown logo, nice and raised. And underneath, let me close it first, you have the EasyLink 5mm extension. So if you have this watch sized uh, snug to your wrist, your wrist will generally swell uh, every now and then, depending on your water content. And so if your wrist does happen to swell and this watch does start to feel a little tight, you just reach under here, pull it straight out, and there you go. There's another half oyster link, basically five millimeters, so that you can just you know continue to wear your watch nice and stress-free without this, without your watch turning into a tourniquet. When you no longer need it, just simply fold it back in on itself, press it back into the clasp, and you're good to go. All right, and while we're here, I can try it on and give you my thoughts as to how it wears on the wrist. Now, keep in mind, my wrist is seven inches in circumference, so it's a bit big on me. So I'm wearing it a little bit higher, but you can see that it's certainly fits my wrist quite nicely when it comes to the case size because I believe that the 36 millimeter case size is sort of that sweet spot when it comes to the size of the dial with the case overall because it's nice and easy to read but still small enough that I can still get a good framing of the watch the oyster bracelet at the 12 and 6 o'clock sides make it nice and easy to read nice a good a very good overall experience just to look at even all right and looking at it down the wrist it fits my wrist quite nicely albeit a little bit off let me correct that a bit okay so down the wrist there's very very little space underneath these lugs and that's fine because the oyster bracelet does give plenty of breathability and so you're not going to be sweating buckets when you have this on you don't need to you know take it off every so often because you know it wicks away sweat nicely and easily because of the spacing of these links there's absolutely no tolerance so there's no pinching of skin or even removal of hair and it just feels very nice, a bit sportier than the Jubilee bracelet, but that's totally fine. Feels nice to wear either way. And when it comes to the overall readability, the overall look, it's a very mon very monotone colored watch, but that's where you get the sense of class and the elegance from this. The sort of throwback to the Art Deco days with the Roman numerals gives it a very traditional sense, and even with the diamonds on the style, or on, yeah, the diamonds on the dial, as well as the complementing dial or diamonds on the bezel, gives it even an even more elevated, a higher sense of class and elegance to it. Bit subtle when the diamonds are this small, but that's totally fine because you know less is more in some situations, and this could be your less is more sort of situation here. Now, enough of what I think. What do you guys think about this watch? Let us know down in the comments below what you think about this Rolex Datejust 36 silver Roman dial 
with diamond pave six and nine hour markers, diamond bezel on an oyster bracelet, reference number 126. 284 RBR. See it on our website, jazztime.com. Links in the description below where you can get it for the lowest price anywhere online. If you like this video, hit the like button. Hit, uh, Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live with another video like this one. And again, if you like to purchase this watch brand new or even used, we can get one for you if we don't have one sitting on our desk already or just sitting in, in our inventory already. Hit the buy now button to secure yours today. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.